So, what do I do to crush my obstacles on this journey to absolute fitness? Well, I can pretty much just say that I just do it, but that's not what we're here for. So, yesterday I had an atonic seizure. It didn't last that long, but it did feel like I did have a workout for about an hour in about a minute. So pretty much all I can do after a seizure is go to sleep because my body needs the rest to be able to do everything I have to do during the day. If I do have cravings for certain junk foods, then all I pretty much do is just put extra salt on whatever I'm eating uh, because, you know, that's really what your body is craving. It's just the salt. and. You know, raw fruits and vegetables already have its natural sugars, but to combat the absolute crazy cravings, I have cooked food once a week, and just so my body's not going crazy saying, oh, you're only giving me raw food and I need something cooked because we're so used to this, but I've been good since I've been doing that. So I do my exercises. Uh, aside from my walking with the dogs in my room and since I do have my dogs around while I'm exercising they tend to get in the way so sometimes while I'm exercising I'll have them in the other room or you know just tell them to stay in one spot so that you know I just keep exercising but there are times when I just don't really care and I let them pretty much for certain exercises just do whatever they want just so you know I don't have to stress out about them so much and that's another thing to keep my stress levels down I drink a lot of water like more than a gallon a day because that is so important and it's great for helping you to flush out the toxins it's great for um, helping you to you know uh, regulate your hormones uh, it's great for hydrating you of course uh, and, you know, like I said, it's great for lowering your stress levels because if you have less toxins in your body, then, you know, your body's not going to feel like it's under attack and it's not going to feel stressed. Now, one obstacle is friends actually ask me to hang out and go out and stuff. And since I spend most of my day doing stuff regarding my fitness, that's not really an option. So. I do have to put stuff like that on hold. Basically, I've had to uh, take one day out of my schedule one month ahead of time uh, to spend time with any, any one of my friends, and so that way I can keep on track, and so that I make sure that I'm not, you know, eating bad food, like, you know, pizza or whatever, and just sticking to what I've basically just set out for myself. So I basically told all my friends that pretty much everything is gonna have to wait. So yeah, because this is so important to me. At the beginning, I told myself that nothing is gonna hold me back and I stay true to that today because staying true to that actually has helped me to lose some of the excess body fat that I have on my body and it's helped a lot with certain pains that I had in the past, it has decreased and you know it's just, it's a lot easier to do some things now and I know one of the obstacles I do have is that I have more seizures during a certain time of the month. So what I do is instead of having uh, one protein shake a day, I have two. What happens is during that time you're losing extra protein as one. So because I need those extra proteins because of my seizures and my body hormones and just going out of whack and causing more seizures, I have to basically make sure I'm equipped to handle it so that I can recover from my seizures a lot faster and continue to exercise and basically overall just take care of myself and it just makes everything easier. Some obstacles I do have regarding the exercises is that I can't push myself past a certain level 
just because if I do, I'll have a seizure and it won't be one of those small seizures, it'll be a big tonic-clonic seizure and so I avoid doing that and um, that's where the food comes in. Uh, eating raw actually helps me um, to lose the fat faster, not really faster, but easier and it's not as much of a strain as exercising past my limits would be. Also, if I have pain in a certain area while I'm exercising, I try to avoid that specific area while I'm exercising so I don't put a strain on it and make it worse and let it heal until, you know, it's pretty much ready to go again. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not true. Love you guys. Bye. And be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel, for more laughs and see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Bye.